This seemed a necessary pit stop. Great. Come on, man. <laughs> what are we doing with this for uh, uh, buying our. Yeah, we're gonna. If we buy enough gold coins, we can pay our bills in Nashville. <laughs> Jason, when do you think the perfect time to do a needlework market wrap-up video would be? Like, if I were to think about it and, like, plan it out. Strategically. Strategically plan it. It would probably be, like, when no one cares anymore. <laughs> about 43 days since our last market video. That, that seems about right. So yeah. our business strategy was to make the best needlework shopping video series of all time and then disappear from the face right. of the earth. <laughs> right. We are like one hit wonders. <laughs> That's all we could now do. Now we're riding off into oblivion. We were done. <laughs> that pack donkey that I rode to Nashville, um, he was real tired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was real tired. <laughs> yeah, no, I was the one that was really tired afterward. Yeah. Yeah. So what this video was going to be is just a casual coffee chat of market reflections, lessons learned, interesting tr statistics, details no one really cares about but us. Yeah. Yeah. So, that seems uh, like a good idea for a video. <laughs> so sit back, get ready to be dull to sleep. <laughs> People do watch YouTube videos just to go to sleep, so we could be hitting that market. Yeah. Yeah. And make sure you stay till the end of the video because we have a special Nashville uh, shop deal coming that is only good for this weekend. Only this weekend. Well, this year's market was my fourth market. I, my first market was 2019. So technically it's been five years, but there was only four physical markets there because of COVID. This was Jason's first market, and it was also the first market that we heavily shopped as an online needlework store. Yeah. Right? Yep. So it was a whole different learning experience than I've ever had in Nashville, and of course Jason's first time. I was baptized. There were many uh, predictions in our last video in the comments that you were just going to totally crush it. I was? Yeah. That's what they predicted? Yeah. Wow. I totally crushed it though. <laughs> I really did. I was, I went above and beyond. You really did. Not only you. Shock and awe. Shock and awe. <laughs> Not only you, but also our helper, Caitlin, totally crushed oh, it. Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh. Uh, we couldn't have done the show without her. Uh, Jason was not the only one hauling pounds of stuff around but caitlin was also caitlin was awesome, awesome. She, she was great she did like everything we needed and more and more yeah i think if we could have thought of some more things that she would have done it for us yeah so she was way way awesome yeah and so a huge thank you to caitlin for helping us to shop and yeah i felt like everything went really well there was no like super unpleasant surprises actually being down there yeah and in, in that experience yeah. No, it went terrifically. Did you enjoy meeting everyone? Yeah. Yeah. I did. I mean, I've met some of them, but meeting other people was really great. Yeah. I mean, you had to kiss Bill's feet for winning the Superb Owl competition. I, I did. You had to, you know, pay homage. <laughs> pay and homage. Much bowing and... No, that's actually not how it was. <laughs> I was angry. You were angry? When I saw him, I was not happy. <laughs> There was a wrestling match. What actually happened was they shook hands and then Kathy and I tried to take a decent picture of two grown men who were posing like sixth grade boys on the first day of school. That's pretty much all that happened. Right. <laughs> and we felt about our wives the way sixth grade boys feel about their sixth grade teachers. <laughs> I just wish you would get off my back. <laughs> oh... So pretty much 20% of this video is going to be serious factual information. Is that what we're aiming for? Yeah, that's about <laughs> right. So overall, we listed on lindystitches.com 230-ish products for market. Uh, there were probably like, what, 800 at least products that we could have listed on the website, if not more. 
um, but easily. even even in yeah. that, we learned a lot of lessons. Um, there what were, was your biggest lesson? I think if you're going to list a designer's designs, I should have listed them all. I think. Like, not piecemeal it. We piecemealed it on some of the designers. Um, like, I told Tracy from Ink Circles, I listed what I thought would be her top three best-selling designs, and I told her, like, I should have just listed all of them. But we were, be, being the first time that we had ever done it, we were trying to, like, not bite off more than we could chew. We wanted to be able to come home and... Manage it. Manage it and give really good customer service of being quick. Right. So um, that was one of my lessons. I, I, f I don't know that, yeah. Yeah, you don't agree with me? I don't 100%. I think we did the right thing for this time. Oh, I agree. But I'm saying next time. I think next time yeah. we know what we're getting into, we can definitely manage up it better. It, up it, yeah, yeah, definitely. I think one surprise Jason had was how long he had to wait in line that first night. <gasps> you want to talk about that <laughs> and why you had to wait in line? Yeah. So, Primrose Cottage was having a... Primrose Cottage, right? Yeah. yeah. They were releasing Spring Quaker, right. the pattern. But you had to be in line in order to get it. Right. And we were kind of brave and maybe a little... We were taking risk and we were like, okay, we're going to sell it and I'm going to make sure that I'm standing in line and getting it. So you couldn't pre-order it. You, you couldn't, couldn't tell yeah. them, hey, reserve 50 for me, reserve 75 for me. Like, <clears> no. <throat> you just had to, like, go for it. Yeah. You had to be in line. You I had did, to hope you were going to get it. Right. And I did tell them. I emailed them, and I'm like, hey, I'm going to stand in line, and this is about how many I'm going to ask Is that or ask for. Is that going to be a problem? And they said, no, that shouldn't be a problem. But... So, thankfully, the Primrose Cottage room in the hotel where mm -hmm. their, their shop was, was just around the corner from ours. Okay, I don't know if you can see this, but the Primrose Cottage line goes all the way down there. And Jason is somewhere over there in the front of it, thanks to a lot of you. <laughs> yeah. And so we were scoping it out, saying like, okay, is a line developing? Because as soon as the line develops or starts developing, I had yeah. to get over there. Yeah. Um, I was making my, I was flitting about to several rooms and I was heading back to our room and I texted Jason. It was like an hour and a half before the show started. Probably like it? an hour and 45 minutes before the show started. I just texted him like, get in line. <laughs> right. And I had walked by their room a, so, a couple times and people were standing there, but I thought they were just talking. Like, no. hanging out? Because <laughs> why would you get in line two hours before the show starts? And then I'm like, oh, no, I have to. You have to. So I was in line. Yeah. It was good. You had fun. I had fun. I talked to Abby Topnotch Stitcher's sister. Her sister. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's a, that's so we, helpful. So we, uh, yeah, we talked for like an hour about this and that. Yeah. And that passed the time. Yeah. And was then it, like... Wasn't Gary there too? Of yeah. Gear on stitchery. Yeah, he was. He was behind me. She was in front of me. Uh -huh. There, were, I was about fourth in line, okay. so I was good. You were committed. I was so. <laughs> yeah, it was good. It was good. And at one point, all the primrose. Uh, oh yeah, primrose. I'll, I'll tell that part okay. of the story. So we're just standing there, and it's like a quarter till four when the the doors actually open, and people are getting a little like, okay, we're ready for this to get going, and. You're getting all antsy. Of, we're getting antsy. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, like seriously, all of a sudden, shockingly, out their door was closed. The Primrose Cottage people's door was closed. All of a sudden, the door burst open. I'm not joking. It's like it doesn't swing open. It like <laughs> exploded open. And they were rocking this really loud dance music. <laughs> And all, like, four of them or something came out, and they're, like, duh, duh, like dancing. <laughs> and I was just, like, what? <laughs> like, what? What are you guys? Anyway, and they were handing out stickers. And what was I found personally amusing was they did this whole dance routine and all this stuff, and then they went back in their room and shut the door. <laughs> Did that like boost your spirits to well, wait that extra length? I, 
I don't, well, yeah. I mean, it was like, oh, wow, that's that was exciting. Yeah. That kept our interest up for a while. <laughs> and, but but in a certain way, it felt a little anticlimactic because then we're like, okay, so we don't get to go in now. <laughs> but oh boy. No, that was fun. And they were handing out stickers, and then, yeah, they left. Yeah. And all the people in line were just kind of, like, looking around. <laughs> like, okay, now we're back to waiting. Back to waiting. So, on my Instagram stories yesterday, I asked for some questions for Jason and I. Some of them I'm going to keep for my floss tube update, because they have to do with my personal stitching. But um, I'll intersperse them throughout here. So, Noji Barraza asked, what do you do with all that furniture? Do you oh. stay on the same suite, or do you need to get two? Maybe you need to explain just the basic setup. So, so the basic so setup, if you've question. ever been in an embassy, an embassy suite, um, how it's arranged is you have a little sitting room in front with, like, a desk, a, a sleeping couch, some chairs, and a little kitchenette. Not really a kitchenette, just your fridge and your sink. Um, and then you have a door, and then you have a bedroom in the back. Uh, so... Everyone who is exhibiting gets one of these suites, and we set up our store in that living room in the front of the hotel room. So she's asking, what do you do with all that furniture? Because there's, there's furniture in that living room. <laughs> it depends on who you are. Yeah. I mean, most people, most people take the TV out, right? Yeah. Some people, like, move some of the couches, but most people just keep the couches and the chairs there. And people sit in them as they're shopping or waiting. Yeah, it just depends on how much physical labor you want to do in moving the furniture out. Where does the furniture go? You shove it in the bedroom. <laughs> right. <laughs> so you want to explain what you do. Um, well, it's not. Su I don't think that's super interesting. But I basically shove uh, the TV stand and um, one of the desks and some of the chairs back into the bedroom just to free up some of the space because the rooms can get a little crowded as you uh, experienced yeah. with a bunch of people trying right. to get in at once. Um, but then it's just an issue of decorating it, bringing some um, display items. So this year we tried something new. I bought some grid panels to set up on the tables that the hotel Shout out to Hands On Design. Yes, uh, Kathy gave me that tip of um, using grid panels to just expand your vertical space. Previously, I had command stripped things to the wall, and that's an option too because it, it will cleanly remove from the wall, but it's a little more of a pain to set up. Um, so yeah, that worked great. And she wondered, wondered if most people bring a U-Haul. How do, how do people get all their props and shelves to the oh. show? Um, you shove them in your vehicle. <laughs> Some people do bring U-Hauls. Not little no, little trailers. We'll right. Say. Not like big semi-U-Hauls no, or anything. But most of the people, most of them are will fit them into a like a minivan or a SUV. Yeah. And that's what we did. Yeah. All right. Welcome to Franklin, Tennessee, room three ten, best room. Jason, what color is DMC three ten? Black. Thank you. Awesome. He Woo. learned. He learned something that night. He learned something. Uh, so I'm going to show you our setup and we'll give you some a little initial Nashville reflections. Um, so Friday is normally just set up meetings and then early bird shopping starts at four. So it's actually it, it seems like a low key day, but there's a lot to do. We have um, the vendors meeting, the shop meeting. We took a class this morning from Susan and Oliver from Fire Poppies. We have part two of that class to attend. So there's just a lot to do, but we did get set, we got the room set up, so it's good to go. So when we're done with the meetings, we can scurry up here and shopping will start. And Jason, he's gonna be running around all evening as well as our helper, Caitlin. So maybe you should like do some stretching or lunges, I, I, I don't know. Let's get it going. That's right, thank you. All right, so um, moved a lot of furniture. Here's our setup. Uh, look at these gorgeous flowers that my friend Janine McGowan sent me. Look at the colors. Gorgeous. She's so generous and kind. But um, here's the main, main hootenanny. 
Um, I've grouped my new Nashville designs together kind of over here because shops always want to know what's new. And then some of them like looking at what's older. So I brought some of my better selling and more popular designs to share right there if they want to stock up on those or if they've never seen them before. And then over here, I love bringing this blue suitcase because it's multi-functional. It makes a nice little decor piece and I shove a bunch of stuff in it and then unpack it. Here's the airmail series all together with what has come out so far. So yeah, and then over here, we're gonna you know make this look nicer and that's where shops kind of sit down and check out and Jason does typing. <laughs> Uh, the back room is, hey, why don't I show you? Yikes. It is a total, total mess. So that is going to have to be dealt with too. We have pre-orders. Yeah. So previous to the show starting, we had planned out our strategy of what our hot items were that we really needed to make sure we were in line for. So Primrose Cottage was number one because of that spring Quaker and not being able to pre-order it. What do you, Number two, maybe the cookbooks. The cookbooks? Yeah. Weren't those like an no. iffy item? No, we had pre-ordered them, but we needed more. We needed more. So right. we needed to get in line and then, to wait for those. Yeah. Um, but actually, it was not a lot that we absolutely needed to do immediately. Right. Because most of it we had pre-ordered. Most so of it, it we had pre-ordered, and so that was good. But what we did as far as a strategy goes, we basically had all of the the shops by floor so it's on four floors and uh caitlin took a floor mm -hmm. and i took a floor mm -hmm. and other than that like she would just go out and be picking up stuff and i would be out picking up stuff if it was going to be like something like really big like a big order that was going to require lots of lifting and lots of money yeah like i would go do it but yeah. caitlin was like she would do she would take like three orders and just go out and do them and come back and yeah. bring them in and, <laughs> and pile it all in the bedroom i know <laughs> so the there furniture were there the, were bags the and boxes literally everywhere right like before i could crawl into bed at night it was like uh, shovel shovel stuff it was almost like living in a hoarder's house <laughs> that was bad it was but previous, like in previous years when I've just been exhibiting and I'm mostly in my room, I see the shop owners come in and a lot of them have like these detailed organizational systems. Like I saw one this year who had just, she had this huge silver ring and she just had note cards all around the ring of like, I'm not sure even how it was organized, but like they all have like papers and lists and, and folders like, and trapper are, keepers. They, and... they are on a mission. And so we knew we needed to be organized because it's like, yeah, we got our pre-order in, but did we prepay for it? Some of them you can prepay. Some of them want you to pay at the show. Um, some of them we, we wanted had our... a pre-order, but we needed more. Exactly. So yeah. we, did we pay for the first pre-order, and then did we pay for the refill? This is super interesting, <laughs> I'm sure, to you. But for us, it, it was, was a like... a stack of, like, we have to be seriously organized about this. We had this. to put up our grown up, our put up, pull up our grown-up pants and, yeah, well, be business didn't people. Well, we want to come home and, like, not have something that have somebody screw, ordered. Right. So that was on uh, that was the biggest number thing. one concern. It was like all that organization that we were doing of we had files and folders and um like Google documents and <laughs> spreadsheets that were color coded and it was like red super hot. So Primrose Cottage is like <laughs> flaming red with like burning symbols around yeah. it. <laughs> get but, in line. I mean other people were like, Oh, we're all good. We can get those some other time. Yeah. But the purpose of all of that organization was so that we could actually come home and have what you had ordered. Yes. And make you happy. <laughs> Get it out. And make you and make them happy. Yeah. Yeah. And, and it was fun. It that it was it was a lot of fun. And we did it I think we did a pretty good job. I mean from start to finish, people have asked like, Well, did you have a lot of mistakes? And we yeah, we made some mistakes. Yeah. But what percentage wise it was pretty low it was like two or two two three percent yeah which given it was our first time yeah given 
like you guys were excited and you wanted it and yeah it was a lot of fun it was a lot of fun i think the designers too like that has been really enjoyable for both of us as like shop owners to go in and place a decent order with a designer knowing that it means something to them as well so you allowed us to be the middleman of um of making designers days yeah seriously yeah because it was like oh thank you yeah I think in particular of some of the newer designers that like we had never listed any of their items before, partially because we're, we're rapidly growing right now. So we didn't have a lot of designers to begin with, but people like, um, sweet wing studio and the proper stitcher, like we'd never listed any of their patterns before, but they sold really well. You guys really loved them. So yeah. it's really nice to be able to like say, Hey, here's a big order. <laughs> yeah. And it meant something to them, and we know, and we know what that's like. Yeah, we're on the other side of that, and so it's really, we get joy being on both sides of it. Yeah, it's really fun. We get joy from like making the designers happy, and we get joy from making you guys happy, and so it really is. It was, it's fun. It's fun. Nashville day two, it is Saturday. I have no idea if I'm making a consistent storyline with these videos, I'm probably not. I've been throwing stuff up on my Instagram stories and trying to like record some clips for later uh, enjoyment because we were trying to bring you along, but it, it is just crazy. People pop in and out all the time. You're trying to like catch everybody that you know. Uh, Jason and our friend Caitlin have been shopping powerhouses uh going in and out of this room dumping stuff and i've been trying to like process it when i have a moment down when shops aren't in our room so it's been a bit crazy but uh if you missed it i'm sure you've caught it by now but the prairie schooler santa we did a reveal on our instagram he is absolutely cute look at this nordic guy I love his little kind of sad face. <laughs> He's very adorable. So this is the 2024 Prairie Schooler Santa. We got a big chunk of these and he's been, of course, going gangbusters as expected. And then we got the scoop on the Blackbird design releases. They are both booklets, as I suspected because of the price, but we had no info on these. so. I did a flip through of these on my Instagram, but uh, to give you the short version, the Moments of Glad Grace has four designs in it. This cover design, and then you also get this box top. I just love this funky black bird. And you get this pillow and this little, that little design as well. So that's Moments of Glad Grace that has four so it's the more robust of the two but thy love more strong has three and i really i really love this one too um this watercolor type spring bird on the bottom and then you get this big pin drum design and this box top so um if you want like a complete flip through that you can find that on my instagram but yeah, that's, that's the Blackbird Designs new releases. Uh, what else did we get, Jace? Yes. More Sweet Wing Studio. We got more Sweet Wing Studio designs and added those to the website because I kind of fell in love with some of her other things I hadn't seen before. We restocked the cookbook because I have never seen so many designs in the Nashville cookbook. There is like a pattern every... Boy. On almost every page, like no exaggeration, almost every page has a cross stitch pattern on it. It's kind of crazy. Taco Cat, hadn't seen, I didn't catch that one the first flip through. <laughs> you can get Taco Cat. Um, I contributed a design. Look at this squirrel from Janine McGowan. He's like Irish hiking squirrel. <laughs> Great, did you see that, Jace? Irish hiking oh, squirrel? Oh, he's Austrian. He's an Austrian oh. Irish hiking squirrel. <laughs> I just got these little 
Uh, ear hairs, I love it. Um, here's my design for the cookbook. But I, everybody decided to contribute a design this year. It's great. And of course you get the recipes. <sighs> we're having a great time. Um, we're having a great time, aren't we, Jace? We are. Did you want to give a little shopping update of what it's like to run around to hither and yon and stand in lines? So yesterday when uh, shopping began, Friday night's a little weird because the shops are desperate to get into the fabric rooms. So um, you can scoot over and I'll I can sure a seat. No. Well, that was another thing. You want to know actually what it's like, nitty gritty. The hallways are pretty warm. And then you get into the area that where the sales are, you know, the displays are. Yeah. And there's like a 10 or 15 degree difference. Of hotness. Uh, it goes from cool. Oh, it's cool. It's cooler. Yeah. And so it feels good to get into a the room. display area. Yeah. And there were a few um, shops or whatever that are designers that like I had to go in the back yeah and it they have their ac cranked right and so it's like 63 in the back <laughs> and so you're like i'm trying to get into the inner sanctum <laughs> where, let me in I, if i can sit down and yeah. like pay yeah and it's like 60 degrees in there you're like yeah. i finally made it yeah but it's cool no it's fun that's why it all the so shop fun. owners come in they're sweaty and they head straight to the couch to like yeah chill well, at Annie B's, we were chit-chatting, and I'm like, can I just sit down? And they're like, yes, <laughs> go ahead. So yeah. I'm like sitting down, I'm like, take all my money if you have to, but let me, <laughs> I'll gladly uh, sit here. We should set up like an icy station or something yeah. in our room where they can like have a, have a frosty. Yeah. <laughs> I'm hoping that Saturday, today. Fans. Well, yeah. What was it? One of them had a fan going. I think it was Teresa Koga. I'm yeah. not sure. She had a fan going, and so it was like, at one point, I was standing in front of a shop um, from Lincoln, Nebraska. I can't think of their name right now. But, like, I was stealing the whole fan without even thinking about it. And, like, and then it just occurred to me that this lady, it probably wants to enjoy the cool air, too. So I'm like, I am so sorry. I'm like, move over. Like, we can actually share this together. This moment of refreshment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but you guys were doing so good of like Caitlin hauling. was rocking it. Caitlin Caitlin is a powerhouse of shopping. She was rocking it. Yes. Yes. And we are ready, like in five minutes. Yes. We have, I have to go. So we have more stuff to do. More stuff to collect. More pre orders to get out of here. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. It's been day two. It's been fun. Good thing you got some sleep last night. I did. Yeah. I did. I slept pretty And well. you got your um, delicious hotel breakfast in you. Breakfast of champions. <laughs> yeah. I asked for a little bacon and a little sausage, and the guy grabbed two huge handfuls of both, and I'm like, okay. He delivered. He, he totally delivered. <laughs> he totally delivered. Good. So. Okay. Well. I don't have anything left to say. I don't here. have anything else left to say either. We're having a great time. We're having a great time. Thanks for being our friends. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Dustin to knit asked, were you surprised by the success of your market floss tube videos? Cause they were fire flames. Fire That's flames. how you say that emoji, right? They were fire flames. <laughs> I am so not They cool. were hot. They were hot. They were burning. <laughs> were you surprised? I think so. Yes. I mean, I knew I was doing something that people would enjoy, but y'all really enjoyed it. Right. Yeah, we were definitely surprised. But we were... It was clearly scratching where people were itching. <laughs> yes. And so that was... that's. It's always fun when you're doing stuff to like run into something and you're like, Oh, wow. Yeah. Like, <laughs> this is actually something that people really, really like and... Yeah. We could just do more of it. And yeah. it, it's not hard, really. It was a lot of work. It wasn't hard. It wasn't hard work. It wasn't hard work. No, but it was a lot of work. Um, to do the video. Yeah, it, it pushed me. Right. I mean, I, I normally am very um, 
particular and it takes me a long time to get myself to the point where I'm like freely recording a video but like I had no time to be particular it was like you have to do a video this morning you cannot spend 25 minutes getting the introduction right you just have to go and roll with it and edit it and post it and like don't overthink it just do it and then three days later you have to do it again yeah <laughs> like there was it one, was good for you it was good it was good for me but like, it I did noticed. take us 20 minutes to start this video <laughs> well that was because you couldn't find the Anyway. <laughs> Couldn't find the microphone. Couldn't find the microphone. Um, there was one video in particular that I just want to make fun of my past self because I'm allowed to do that. Like, I, um, I did the video and then in the process of editing, I realized that, I wonder if you think, you're going to think this is funny, but, um, I, I was using this tinted lip balm that I don't normally use. Like, I've used it like twice in my life and previous to the video, I had just done what I normally do with chapstick and just, you know, all over my mouth. <laughs> I recorded the video. It's and ugly then, when she's putting on chapstick. <laughs> then, in the process of editing, I was like, oh my goodness. Like, and I'll put a screenshot in because why not? Like, I had like this tinted lip balm, like all over the, like where it should not have been. Right. But it was like, what are you going to do? Like, who cares? post and it went out to the world and everyone watched it so yes. if you noticed that like if you noticed a three-year-old with makeup talking to you about Nashville releases <laughs> that was me that was Stephanie <laughs> I'm sure the people that watch on their giant TVs were like like holy cow is, does she have some sort of allergic reaction going on <laughs> <laughs> so related to videos um Aaron's makes said Will we get fun preview videos and market bestsellers with every market and expo? They were a highlight. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> yes, Aaron, definitely. They were fun. I think it was, I think why they were such a hit was because, like, when we get the emails for, like, what's coming out and it's, like, pre market season, like, the hype is building, but the videos were a way for us to, like, enjoy enjoy the social aspect of definitely the hype, you know yeah like we're together talking about right. what's cool about them and just the amount of comments yeah like the amount of engagement that you guys put into the Nashville experience yeah. made it so that we had a blast yeah reading the comments oh we had a blast like we we couldn't answer most of them yeah but we do read them. Oh my goodness. The country song titles. Oh. <laughs> I got to start working on like good questions for the future. <laughs> but that was so funny. Yeah. Which reminds me, we have to do our video, our giveaway from the last video 43 days ago. <laughs> so I did do a random comment picker. The question was, are you a morning stitcher or a night stitcher? So congratulations to Janie C. Um, Cipriero. Cipriero 7068. Cipriero. Um, she said, so fun to see this, especially Jason's Biscornu. Uh. I, do, <laughs> I do stitch off and on all day, but I'm a morning person so far. My favorite time to stitch is early morning while my husband is still sleeping. So $25 Nash Dash donation to um, Janie. So should we do our last nash dash budget donation yes we should okay so 25 dollars to uh, a randomly chosen winner for the question did you start any of your nash dash <laughs> did you have any nashville needlework starts if so tell us down below if you didn't i guess you can tell us that you didn't maybe you need to come back for more <laughs> <laughs> what if you didn't, why not? <laughs> What's wrong with you? Answer the question. <laughs> there she is, the great Tracy Horner of Ink Circles. Hey, Steph. Yay! Yeah. You're pretty set up. Now I was talking about your room and how it's how great it is to see all of your luscious models. In particular yours because they're so great in person now this one's new right no that came out in january january 
Well, that's newish. That's newish. What I meant. Yeah, yes. it's newish. I love Absolutely. the colors on that one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that one's last year, but still, I'm sure, selling well because it's gorgeous. Yes. 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 And foul mood. Which has to put you in a good mood. That's true. That's true. You don't ever get in a foul mood, do you? Rarely. Rarely. <laughs> so pretty. And is this 40 count, Tracy? That is 40 count. That is 40 count. So, yeah, it's big, but it'd be even bigger if I stitched it on 32. Yeah, so pretty. Can I ask you what your best seller is, or does that remain a secret? No, my best seller this show is the Sumatran Lace. Really? The Sumatran Lace, yes. It's so classic looking, I think that's why. It is, people like the monochromes, and it's a nice mix of geometric and kind of organic. Yeah, shapes, I'm seeing so. faces. Am I supposed to see faces? No. No, okay. <laughs> That's the phenomenon you, of paradigia, where you see faces. Yeah, when there's not faces. supposed to be faces. As long as you don't see anything more graphic than faces. Okay, then we're good. Okay, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks for letting us sneak in, Tracy. Yeah, have a great show. <laughs> thanks. Our helper, Caitlin, who is Stitch Read Repeat on Instagram, if you'd like to follow her, asked, I'd love to see a diagram of how you manage to fit everything in the car going home. Do you want me to get a whiteboard? Yeah. <laughs> Do you have your eye drops ready? Because this is... <laughs> so it Caitlin's... was intense packing. Yes. Caitlin saw and, of course, hauled much of our stuff. She saw how much was in that bedroom. She also witnessed us worrying about whether we were going to be able to And fit it was it. a legitimate concern. Right. Because that was one of the things. When we ordered all of your stuff, we didn't really have... Like, any conception of, like, how much space this is going to take. No. Like, maybe if you were some sort of crazy engineer person, you would have calculated it all. But for us, it was like, it was like a week or two before the, sh uh, the show. Yeah. And I was like, I don't, I'm kind of getting worried about whether this will all fit. Yeah. I don't know what we would have done if it didn't, it didn't fit. But anyway, so Caitlin saw all that. Yeah. Um, yeah, so what it was, was we used to have a minivan, right? which it, it was like a Dodge Caravan, right, or some, yeah. something, and the, all the seats folded down. Right. Now we don't have one. We have a smaller SUV kind of vehicle. The seats kind of go down, and so it creates some space. And then... <laughs> and then... You're like dredging up some trauma here, buddy. It's like a real challenge. Tetris. Yeah. It was just Tetris. It was just Tetris. It was, okay, this box can go here, and this box can go here, and then I can stack all of these up. Oh, wait, that doesn't work. So you get, and not like, yeah, you just take some stuff out, you put it back in, and it was... Insane. insane. I was literally... What, don't you think one box away from having stuff in my lap? Like if there yeah. had been one yeah. more sizable well, box, it would have gone on top of me. the embassy suites received a non like are they a non asked for uh, donation. donation. Oh yes, right. We had this cart, <laughs> and it wouldn't fit in there. No, and so we, we just, donated it. We donated it. <laughs> Hopefully no one from Embassy Suite sees this and it was a problem. <laughs> we just sort of like, well, well, <laughs> no, we didn't, just, we didn't just chuck it. We hid it in the closet <laughs> and then put some, the ironing board in front of it. Oh, this is, that's bad. <laughs> that's so. Yeah. But maybe they'll use it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the next person's like, oh, this card is perfect for what I need. I don't know. Okay. So, yeah, it it was a tight fit, Caitlin. It was a tight fit. And, but we got it. Next year, I don't think that we will do the same thing. No, we'll need, we'll upgrade the vehicle size or something. Or we will, like, get a U-Haul. Just the nervousness and the worrying about it is just not worth dealing with. It's such a high-stress right. time on right. top of everything else, so. And we were literally one box away <laughs> from 
me carrying stuff. The stuff carrying on a yeah for six hours on yeah. the ride back. Yeah. Do we want to talk about the aftermath of all of that? Yeah. Because then <laughs> our work had just begun. Right, and that was the difference between us and the designers. The designers. Just the designers. Because normally your work is pretty much complete. I mean, you have to come home, unpack. Obviously, you probably have some refill refill orders to take care of. You have to send your stuff to the distributors. So there's still things. There's loose ends you need to tie up. For the most part, your stress is over, though. It's sort of like land. you've landed the plane, you right. just got to taxi it into the thing. Yes. But for us, it was like, everyone kept asking, like, oh, was the show stressful? And it was like, the show wasn't the harder part. No. The harder part was packing all the orders. Yeah. So, yeah, we left at 5 o'clock in the morning on Monday, came We home. packed the vehicle the night before. Yes. And came prayed home. that no one would break into it. <laughs> literally. <laughs> and you literally prayed that no one would break. I into laid hands on the raft. <laughs> no. <laughs> so left really early, came home. We got home even before the kids were home from school. Right. We we got home at noon. Yes. So Jason said we are definitely unpacking our personal suitcases so that we don't have to live out of our suitcases. And then we're getting to work and we got to work we unloaded the entire car that night we got um a series of tables set up and we worked on an organization system and we packed orders that night we did we seriously packed orders that night remember it's all of, no yeah it's all we did blur. we were like well let's we start did? yes we did <laughs> what were we thinking <laughs> we were thinking that you know we what too many orders i think we were yeah we were yeah. like, we need to get on this. It felt like a lot of pressure. Right. But then that whole week, we had helpers coming in and out. And I, you've probably seen them on my Instagram account. We called them the power packing team. Uh, we had four um, sort of, yeah. sort of five-ish friends who were coming as they could, leaving as they needed to. Uh, and we just had a system going. I stood at the computer for eight hours a day. For five days. Printing shipping yeah. labels. Um, it was <laughs> crazy. It was traumatic for Stephanie Webb. But we were done within the week. Right. We were done Saturday at 11. Yes. It wasn't even all the way through Saturday. Right. It was like, we got we, and, it and done. At the, at the end, <laughs> we had these people standing around, and it had like kind of ended before we were expecting it yes because of how shopify works um was it my club orders? yeah your club orders were in so there we were watching the order number go down as we packed the orders and thinking we were going to get to zero and then all of a sudden it stopped it was like oh oh that number also includes my club so yeah, we were kind of like calculating when and we so were going to be done. And so all of a sudden it was done. All of a sudden we were done. And, and everyone's standing around and we're like looking at... I mean, I just felt like, are you kidding? This is done? Because <laughs> we were in such a tunnel the it whole It felt week. like you like had been running a race and then the finish line was like a mile ahead of the finish line that you thought. And all of a sudden you're done and the crowd is cheering and you're, you're like, like, oh. I thought I had three more laps to run. Exactly. I guess we're happy? Right. <laughs> and so we were like, well, let's do inventory. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and our power packing team helped us to do inventory before they left, so that was super helpful. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it was a hard I don't though. remember... It, I don't remember starting. We started that night. We started that night. And we what? Like, we just kept going? Like, it's all a blur. It's all a blur. It's like giving birth. <laughs> like, I <laughs> can remember, like, Wednesday, you know, where you, 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 it's like, I felt like it was never going to end. And it was really, like, physically. <laughs> oh. I think I cried that morning. I think it was not a good well, morning. Well, I took a bath. You took a bath. <laughs> what does that have to do with it? It means I was so like worked over. Yeah, I was it like, was physically. holy cow! I I don't think unless you've like packed orders like for a few hours that it's it it's hard to like 
understand why it's so tiring, but it's physically exhausting. Yeah. And especially to do it for that long of days, for that, like, like grinding, we, grinding, uh, grinding. Right. But. But we got through it. And now it's like, oh, yeah, that happened. Yeah. <laughs> and we don't want you to feel sorry for us. That was <laughs> the, like the woes. It's not the, the woes. woes. It was just like. Our, our power packing team really made the whole difference. That They were amazing. You know what? They came in happy. I mean, because I think because we live here, we were living in the midst of it, and it it was a lot to, like, mentally deal with, having already traveled and all that. We were just tired, and, like, we had to just get through it. But they were fresh people, and they're our friends, so they would come in. Right. They'd be all chipper and cheery. And, and you're like, what are you so <laughs> chipper about? <laughs> Welcome to Doom! Right. Pack some orders! <laughs> I know. <laughs> no. <laughs> we actually did play the Christmas music at one point. Right, we played Christmas music. Uh, so when we got under, I'm not going to tell you the number, but when we got <laughs> under a certain number, uh, one of the members of the packing team, who is not a young lady... <laughs> She ran up the stairs. She's like, we're going to celebrate. We're going to take a happy, happy laugh. And then she ran up the stairs and she told me that she was going to run a lap around the house, but I didn't really. I thought she meant inside. No. And so I go she... upstairs and I'm just, I'm doing something else. And then I look at our patio door and there she goes running past the thing. I was so happy. <laughs> <laughs> She did it twice. She did. Yeah. Oh, and she was great. Yes. They were all great. They were all great. All right, here we are at Luminous Fiber Arts. See if Misty's home. Who's there? Hi, Misty. Hello. Come on in. <laughs> we're here to creep creep in early and look awesome. at your beautiful things. Well, thanks for coming in. Yeah. I, of course. It's a rainbow now. <laughs> now that you have purple, it, isn't it a complete rainbow? We're, the Gathering series? I, I keep thinking about what are my next colors going to be. Yeah. Like I what, have ideas. What colors can you sneak in yeah. that are like seasonally appropriate to the release? Yeah, that's so cool. We might get some duplicate colors and some varying shades in the future. Yeah. But look at that. And they're all like... I guess the red's a little dark, but they're mostly like mid-tones, aren't they? Mm -hmm. They look so pretty together. Thank you. And yeah, it's fun having them all together. I like seeing them. People love collecting, like, every single one. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the new one, Gathering yep, Violets. And what color floss is that? Um, it's Belle Soie Boys and Beauty. Okay. Gorgeous. One will do it. Gorgeous. It, what count? Is that 32? 32. Yeah, yeah, just Vintage Country Mocha, right? Yep, that one was Vintage Country yeah. Mocha. And then this one is my favorite, the Oh yeah. The Gathering or Autumn's yeah. Acorns. Yep. Yes. I don't know what it is about the black, but it's so striking. I know. That's how I designed it originally and then I wanted to see what it would look like in the rust color and I love both of them. Yeah, they're so pretty. I love that orange color. And then this is your ser a ser series 2. Correct. They yeah. look like um those photo booth picture oh, yeah. strips to me. Yeah, they do have kind of a feel of that, don't they? Yeah, but this is the new one. Yep, Liberty Glory Unity. So these are my seasonal trios. So cute. So they could be stitched as ornaments um, separately, or you could stitch them horizontally or, horizontally or vertically. Lots of arrangement possibilities. Right. And this one, people love this one too. Like, what was your inspiration for this one? Because this looks a little different. Yeah, um, I was just thinking about, well, I was looking at woven coverlets and thinking about how much I like them and the motifs in them. And so I wanted to design something that was more classic and traditional and took some motifs from weaving and, and kind of had more of a style that looks older. Yeah. Um, and just, yeah, I wanted something that looked older and traditional. Um, and I'm really happy with how that one came out because I think it, it fits with that feel of a coverlet. Yeah. He's very distinguished looking. I love him. <laughs> yeah. And then your ornament set. Yep, this the is Wintergreen Christmas. Wintergreen Christmas. Very cute. And then Santa stack. Yes. Santa is actually an acrobat in his spare time. <laughs> <laughs> and so he can balance packages and candy cane and 
balance himself <laughs> on the reindeer, and the reindeer is still smiling. There you go. <laughs> yeah, they they could take that show on the road. They could. <laughs> Maybe he'll think about that. <laughs> Do you mind if we ask you what your bestseller was? Uh, bestseller has been Gathering, Gathering Violets. Violets. I should have guessed. Yes. Yes, very popular. The Gathering series is very, very popular. Yes. People really enjoy it, and I love seeing everyone's versions. Like, so sometimes people... We'll stitch these in completely different colorways using completely different fabric. I love, I love yes. seeing all the ways people personalize this. I love when they put their initials on them. Like I just, I love seeing how stitchers take these designs and make them their own. I think that's awesome. Yes, very cool. Yeah, awesome. Thanks for letting us crash into Thank your room, you so Misty. Much for stopping by. I it. <laughs> Have a good show. Thank you too. Alito asked, "Have you recovered from market, and what's your next big thing?" Are you recovered? I'm recovered. I'm recovered. It's yeah. been it's been it's a long been time. 43 <laughs> days. It's been 84 years. <laughs> it's been 84 years. <laughs> Market is distant past. So, what is the next big thing? I'm asking you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Needlework Marketplace is in August. It is the next uh, industry trade show. That one isn't a physical show where we travel. That'll be all online. So, um, But the designers are going to be releasing a whole bunch of fall and maybe some Christmas. Fall, maybe some Christmas. And even if they're not participating in the Needlework show, a lot of designers release their things in late August anyway. So we might just mix them all in together right. and act like it's one big event. Um, and then we'll just, basically we're going to do what we did before. Yeah, it'll be fun. Um, and we'll have plenty of months to recover before then, right? We will, yeah. Yeah. And then the next big, big thing will be Jingle Ball 2024, which is December 6th through 8th, and you are invited. We had a Jingle Ball meeting, actually, in Nashville for the designers who are participating who were at Nashville, because not all of them... Most of them are. Most of them are. Not all of them are Nashville goers. But uh, that was fun. Yeah. Although I think the... The the secret is no longer a secret of when we do that meeting, because I think people are watching. <laughs> like, I think people are figuring it out. Oh, people at the show. Yes, are figuring people it out. are figuring yeah. it out. It's at definitely the show. trickling out. Yeah, it's that... trickling out. There's a secret jingle ball meeting for the designers involved. And you want to just tell them how it that was super, little how that I mean, goes? it's fun. So I don't tell like the I have I had my list what in beginning of January. Yeah, we had people um, slotted in for Jingle Ball 2024, and um, they don't know who I've invited until Nashville. Um, they're invited to the meeting. They're invited to a party. <laughs> it's a party. It's, it's a party. Party slash meeting. Party slash meeting. And so... They show up and surprise! <laughs> it's and fun. then so like people trickle in and they're yeah. like, oh, you're doing it! Yeah. And, oh, you're here! And... Yeah, and it's a lot of fun. And then the new people that gets, haven't done it before get to kind of like... They get to meet the other designers and they get to talk about the... What the Jingle will, Ball is like, what yeah. they can expect, and how much fun it is. Right. So we're very hyped, and pretty soon we're going to publicly put the list out of who's involved this year for the Jingle Ball. But yeah, that was fun. It is like one of the fun, the most fun things about Yeah, because it's, it's almost like a physical reunion for those who did it last year, who are coming back this year, because we don't, we do this amazing thing together, and we, you know, go through some things together throughout the course of the year, um, sometimes personal things, but we're never like physically together. So it's right. really fun to just come together and... So it's like a reunion? Yeah. But it's also like a surprise party yeah. <laughs> because the people, the designers that are new and yeah. they have never done it before, they get to like show up and everyone gets to cheer for them and yeah. it's super fun for them. There's laughter, there's tears, there's, it's just really fun. There's cake. There's cake. Okay, we're gonna cash in on some friend privileges here. <laughs> Hi, Cheryl! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're all set up. Oh my. Look at these lovely things. 
Okay, so this one customers loved. Love the purple typewriter. Which one is your favorite, Cheryl, of the new stuff? Oh my gosh, I'm a fan of the chicken person. The chicken, <laughs> yes, the chicken is really cute. Do you have? You don't have chickens, do you? I don't, but it's it's a goal of mine to have. Is it really? Backyard chickens, yeah, yeah. I have two. Oh, so pretty. And of course, <laughs> the <laughs> Alice tree. <laughs> We're all mad here. <laughs> Which is appropriate for market, right? <laughs> So beautiful. Okay, thanks for letting us sneak okay, in, Cheryl. <laughs> Bye, have a good show. So some people were curious about our best sellers and we didn't look up the statistics, but we think we can tell them off the top of our heads, right? Yeah, definitely. Okay. So yeah. Um, in no particular order, maybe? In no particular order because we didn't look it we up. didn't look them up exactly, but this is pretty much it. I don't think anyone will be surprised that Maggie May was in the top four. Yeah, super cute. So cute. <laughs> so cute. Stacy uh, Nash hit it out of the park. She's a year. rock star. She is a rock star. Then the second one. Uh, in not not in any particular order, but right. The second one we thought of uh, was in praise of pollinators. Went totally bonanzas. You loved bonanzas. That one. Bonanzas. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone loved that pattern. Uh, they did because it deserves it. Right. Uh, the cookbook totally blew us out of the water. I did not see that coming at all. That can, that I think that's a good segue to one thing that we learned. Yes. Is we just don't know a whole lot sometimes. <laughs> we think we're pretty smart, but then then often enough, it's like, you don't know what you're talking about. Nope. Don't know what I'm talking about. Because that cookbook, I don't know what it is. I, I think it's because it's so different of a product. It's like, it's not supplies. It's not patterns. It's like just this delightful thing to add to your Nashville order. Right. It's like cooking and Well, I think it's there. like, oh, well, I get to cook Stacy I'm just making something up totally yep. random here. Like Stacy Nash's cornbread or whatever. <laughs> I don't know. And it's terrific. Yeah. And it makes you feel close to the the people. Yeah. And then it's like you get patterns. Yeah. And it's just different. Whoa, yeah. I mean yarn tree I, I don't know. I would love to know if they've had to reprint it before because uh, they totally sold out of it at the show. No, they sold out of it before. Before the show. And then we had to get in line right away for more. Yes, they had some that were just like for the show that you couldn't pre-order. So um, Caitlin got in line to get some yeah. of those. And then... While I was at Primrose Cottage, she was stocking the, the yarn tree room. Yes, and we were sold out. Like, yeah. there was no getting any more. And then Yarn Tree decided to do a second printing after the show. And, and that's what some of you are waiting for. And <laughs> we're waiting for those to show up. It should be about five days. Yeah. But then yeah, we'll that have was a big send those out. But really surprising. Yeah. Uh, the other one we wrote down was the 12 Days of Christmas stocking book by Annie Bees. Did right. really well. Everyone loves those because they're adorable. And there could be some others. There could be. But we're but tired. Are... <laughs> it's not that we're tired. We're lazy. We're lazy. We, we couldn't be bothered to press a few buttons and find <laughs> out the actual answers. Uh, Elizabeth Ann Can Stitch asked, How is Jason handling his newfound fame as Mr. Lindy Stitches? Oh, it's really gone to my head, Elizabeth. I'll tell you. I, I like... I go to sleep thinking about myself. <laughs> <laughs> no. He signs autographs of the grocery I store. I yes. <laughs> it's a constant flow of, <laughs> can you do this for me? Can you come to my birthday party? <laughs> will you wear this nose? Uh, we will not take that question seriously, ever. You're yeah. Not, you're not famous. But I do think, sorry to break it to you. <laughs> Sheesh. Well, you're not famous either. <laughs> you're right. Neither one of us are. But I think that 
uh, when people get an email from you, it like means something now. Right. Well, it doesn't mean something. It feels they like just oh, know they, who they're talking they, to. they know who I'm talking. They're talking to. Yeah. And I think that honestly has helped. Yeah. It that in reality it has helped. Yeah, I think because when you're a small business online, um, what you have going for you is that you are a person. I, we're not Amazon, we're not Walmart, where you never know who you're talking to, or even if you're going to get an actual person. Like, like So that personal we, connection is We important. actually really care. Yeah. Like, genuinely. Yeah. I mean, like, we care about every single order. This man cares. Let me tell you, like, yeah. Before, a couple days before market, like, when the pressure was, like, pretty high, and it's like, oh, we have a lot of stuff to do. This man is on the phone with a customer who had a question about uh, the Lowry stand Q snap clip. Is that what you were mm -hmm. talking to her about? I think so. But, yeah. oh yeah, just chattering away. Um, drug out my Lowry stand to like, make sure he knew what she was asking about. And I'm like, okay, Jace, <laughs> you really care. I have an obsession. <laughs> no. With solving problems. I think you're a very good problem right. solver. But the point of, like now that people know oh that's who i'm talking to yeah they i think they it helps them to relax because they're not taught like i've had to deal with ups trying to get something taken care of and i'm just nobody to them right and i can't get anywhere yeah but if you have a problem and you're upset like i'm upset that you're upset yeah I think when you are a, a person with a problem that, and you don't know who you're talking to and you can't assume that they actually care about your problem, it, it, it creates this so frustration right off the bat. Like, you know, tell me I have a problem with Verizon. Okay, my blood pressure just went up like 100 points. But yeah, they you just... You're you feel like you have to fight for yourself, but if there's an actual person and you know they're, they like, care. I'm going to do everything I can to make you happy. Yeah. I really am. Yeah. If I can possibly do it, I want to make you happy. And so I think that the fame was, or just the note, like people know who I am now and that's good. I've been working. And so the fame, the fame, <laughs> but it was funny. Like you don't know how many times. People like brought up the Biscornu, and that was so fun for them. And it was so, it <laughs> so was fun for them. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't mean to be mean. Like I'm not trying to be mean, but it was like they knew what they wanted to mention to you. They right knew, away. Right. They wanted to talk about that right. Biscornu. <laughs> <laughs> they knew how they wanted to give me a little poke, and it was like. I was and I was trying to like come up with original comebacks each time because I don't like to reuse my material, you know? And so you should we should like make um postcards. You we got rid of it. Man, you carpled it up. Remember? That's right. But I just we didn't could want have made postcards for our orders and like with my picture yes, or the picture like, of the machine. autographed. Oh yeah. Jason Webb the Scornail. Okay, I think you know where we are. We are at the hands-on design. Are you ready to I'm face ready. Bill to for not, to you face know, Bill to face Bill your my arch nemesis? <laughs> yes, your arch nemesis. Oh, let's see. Hello. Here they are. <laughs> oh, and there's hey. Bill. There's Bill. Can we get can we get like a peaceful handshake between the competitors? <laughs> Still some hurt feelings there. Okay. <laughs> this is the release everyone's talking about. It's Botanical Bee. Kathy, do you have anything to say about this lovely creation? I just... Uh, it's unfair, and I, the other models really should shut their ears right now, because I stitched this one. I had so much fun stitching it and yeah. watching it come to life. And actually, I'm, I... I, I did have somebody stitch it, but I added all the, the final touches, the uh -huh. final stitches. Yeah. It just made everything pop. So yeah. I want to be real clear. I didn't stitch the whole thing. Sorry, Judy. <laughs> <laughs> 
You just save the fun parts for yourself. Yes, exactly. <laughs> you you designed it. You're allowed to do that. So I don't know. It's just the colors, the the theme. Everybody loves a good bee. This is just he's she's just a real different bee. She's she's pretty fancy. <laughs> it's a she. Yeah. Very nice. All right. What else do we got here? Oh my goodness. Your gather series. Yes. Am yes. I allowed to show all those? You are. Okay. You are absolutely. So that's actually what we did. We brought a lot of um, that three series kind of kicking off, and you're getting a, a sneak peek at all of them now. So. Oh, I love um, the colors in that one. Yeah. The blue, yep. so pretty. You know, I really thought that the fall gather pumpkins would be my favorite, but honestly, gather pine cones. Yeah. What is it? Look at the little pine cones in the uh, bottom. They're so <laughs> tiny. They're so precious. And there's just a little bit of snow in there. Oh, so I love it. So if you notice, each one has a little, little, I call it like a little laurel wreath at the bottom, but they grow and change with the seasons. So right. Everything's just kind of, spring is just sort of okay. getting out and getting green. Right. And then up in summer, you know, we're in full bloom, uh -huh. big fat juicy leaves. And then we turn a little more to bittersweet for the uh -huh. fall. And then we've got some snow and the pine cones. Very, winter, very so. pretty. Now, are, is this series the same size as this series or no. these are bigger? No, these are, these are bigger. bigger. So these are four inch rounds. I do want to say too, the words, this is, I discovered over one stitching, or I should say over one designing. Um, I really wanted a lot of detail in my fonts. Each one has a, a different font. And it was just so much fun to create that designing it over one. Yeah. I do include an over two version for people who don't want to do the Got it. Um, over one or Ada because they're all very Ada friendly. Got it. Awesome. And Okay, we had to pause to yell at the guys to quit talking to each other. <laughs> but football. <laughs> Here we are. Let's continue. <laughs> so so this is kind of, these are slightly larger circles. Um, yeah. It's actually about like a four and three eighths inch circle. This is kind of this, the no name series. It sort of has become a series, but I didn't call it a series because I didn't want to get like pegged into anyone's style or little yeah. color or whatever. I just I happen to really love designing the rounds and they're so much fun yeah. to finish. And it did the little just in a button company button yeah, at the top. The little buttons on the top. And I did um, some fun uh, twisted cord out of a coordinating DMC. And then what I did is I left a little hanger on it. So there it's you versatile. Go. You got a little peg or a doorknob or cabinet you want to hang it on. Or if not, just let it drop to the back and tuck it in someplace. There so, you go. So uh, pretty. Yeah. And then you have these little, is there a name for these little coordinating We're designs? This um, small gathering. Okay. Because they're small. And apparently the word of the year in the Haberman household is what? gather. <laughs> 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 it's kind of funny how that happens. Yes. So honestly, when I was trying to figure out what the, the words for the seasons and the rounds, other words kept coming into play and I didn't want to get rid of them because I thought they were great words. So that's yeah. how we ended up with the blessings, the memories, the gather moments, and then the gather together. Very cute. And the, they're smalls. I mean, this is, you know, that's probably like a three by five type yeah. frame. Um, you can frame them, you can pillow them, you can flat finish them, so many things. Um, I like a slightly chunkier frame with this because get yeah. one, flip them all out. Mm -hmm. um, and it makes it, gives it a little more presence. Yeah. I think so. Okay, I haven't seen the other seasons of these boards. <laughs> wow. So this is our folk art fall series and spring will be coming out now uh-huh and they're finished on that's the, the etched board folk paddle from chantal chantal's 141 uh -huh. and everybody's been asking about that little quilty looking pattern on there and yeah it's laser etched on there oh, cool. so but if you feel it it's smooth it's smooth yeah and you'll have to stain them or paint them your choice okay and you just need one paddle and you'll switch them out with magnets. Oh. Here, I'll pull this one down so you can see. You'll just, I've got magnets nice. on the back. Magnets on the back. Okay. And you'll just switch them out. I just put a little, just to keep it kind of simple, I put, wrapped a little jute up there. Eventually, I'm going to come up with something seasonal, and mm -hmm. we'll probably do a little video about that to kind yeah. of talk about it. But the emphasis here was on 
um, kind of some of these embellished stitches. I love finishing with wool felt and doing applique stitches. So that's kind of why you see this different look here. Mm -hmm. And then we include some uh, specialty stitches. I've chosen specialty stitches that are Ada friendly uh -huh. and just a lot of different, you know, la layered stitches. Each little row is, a, there's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how else to put that, but in a good way. Yeah. So I think this would make a great stitch along a row by row. Yeah. Um, because I mean, obviously it's pretty narrow, so you could do, you know, just bite off a little row and um, before you move on to the next. Very nice. So I'm very drawn to the blackbirds over yes. here. Yes, very pretty. That was the one that kind of kicked it all off. Um, I did teach that um, last fall. And as I was doing it, I said, oh, no, I'm continuing. This one won't remain a, a teaching piece. Yeah, um, it'll be it, it's going to be a whole series. Yeah. And um, I think it was kind of fun is we I was kind of got into watching some of these documentaries about folk art because a lot of people have asked why you call it folk art mm -hmm. um but i i really had a very preconceived notion of what folk art was and it wasn't this no. <laughs> <laughs> and we just we started watching and like learn you know there was, it was a pbs documentary and they were talking about folk art and like different cultures and what they think what their folk art is yeah and that just really kind of fascinated me so it just kind of you know celebration of color and for me it's the detail and it's the layering of the stitches yeah um, and so i don't know it, these these just made me really happy and i did stitch all these all. you did good for you <laughs> so and then we have our berry salad yes, over here yes we do very yeah. cute so we started last year with strawberry the strawberry of strawberries added the blueberries you know mm -hmm. to make it yummy and i felt like we needed some blackberries there you go just uh, some pretty color Isn't honestly i'm beautiful. building my salad on on the color <laughs> 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 i feel like we need yellow next yeah <laughs> so well they say when you eat you should have all sorts of colors on your plate Absolutely. so there you go <laughs> it works. It works. awesome well thanks for letting us bother sure. you and see your beautiful new things thank you and i guess you guys can keep talking it now yeah. <laughs> okay, a little update with Lindy Stitches. Um, we are an online needlework store, and I have not said those words out loud, I don't think, until this video. <laughs> we have been for quite some time, but I haven't just like come out and said it. Uh, we have big aspirations, and uh, we are rapidly expanding our business with people and products and hoping to de continue to deliver really good customer service because that's really important to us. Yeah. So since Nashville, I mean, we did kind of take a recuperating break. Um, you got away for a little while. I got away for a little while. Um, but then we added a whole line of floss. Exactly. We now carry Dinky Dyes silk. I can see it from where I'm sitting. We have how many colors? Right now we have 242 and we are... I'm adding more. And Jason has his sights on two more floss lines. Two more floss lines. this year. Hopefully this month. Oh, gosh. Oh, darling. <laughs> so we have Dinky Dyes. I don't dyes. know what this means. <laughs> I'm just doing my Richard Nixon impression. <laughs> we have Dinky Dyes up on the website. I am not a crook. Okay, ready for it? <laughs> <laughs> for you to look at. Um, we don't have our great pictures taken yet, but we are working on that. Um, I'm working on adding a lot of Prairie Schooler because I know um, Prairie Schooler is always a hit with, well, everyone. They're a classic. But we're expanding our pattern inventory. We're going to be keeping up with uh, new releases from the designers that you guys really loved at Market. Um, Weeks Dye Works. So yeah. should we talk about the deal of the weekend? Yes. Um, I don't know how Weeks Dye Works normally releases their new colors, but um, we, and here they are, five new colors from Weeks Dye Works. Uh, I might flash my nice pictures across the screen here. Um, but five new, like right here. <laughs> five new Weeks Dye Works colors. We ordered a lot of them. And what happened was it took a really long time to get them. So we got them in this week. Yeah. Um, and Nashville buzz has definitely died down. Uh, so we have a lot of these new colors. <laughs> so what we're going to do for the weekend is if you buy a set of these new Weeks Dye Works colors uh, from us, you will get $2 off 
anything in our Nashville 2024 collection. Any pattern. Any pattern. I think that it's any item in the Nashville so 2024 it could be collection. like Dinky Dye's new colors. Um, it color could be. classic color works new colors. Right. So if you put this in the cart, the new color set that we have listed, uh, the cart will automatically take two dollars off anything in the Nashville 2024 collection. So that's our deal this weekend only. Right. Because we need to get rid of some of these. When, it, when, when does the weekend end? When does the weekend end? Um, midnight Eastern Standard Time on Sunday. Okay. So, how So, we'll, it. yeah, we'll get this video out so that people know, right? That is the goal. <laughs> the last thing that we want to say is thank you. Thank you for interacting with us. Thank you if you decided to uh, place your market order with Lindy Stitches. We really appreciate it. Um, we got a lot of comments, or at least I did throughout the weekend, of like, Wow, you guys are an overnight success. And I maybe it seems like that from the outside, but I don't think that that's true. No. Um, we've been at this, at least I mostly have been at this for almost 10 years, and I've been working. Um, but it's, it's all because somebody, you know, eight years ago decided to buy my pattern and then maybe bought a piece of fabric a year later. Uh, I, I can't do this without uh, your support and I, I really appreciate all of you. Um, to be able to have a business that we can both work on and um, serve people is a privilege that we don't take lightly. Yeah, we actually sincerely mean that. That it is a privilege. It's an honor to do that. Um, so thank you. Thank you for letting <laughs> us do this. Um, wouldn't it be awesome to just like be together with all of uh, the people that have watched and enjoyed and sort of met us? Yeah. I wish I could be with them sometimes. Yeah. And um, face to face say thank you and for you to really know that I mean it. Yeah, we genuinely, genuinely mean that. So thanks for joining us for this video, which was kind of all over the place. Um, but it was fun, and we hope you enjoyed. Uh, I will be back shortly with a floss tube update to talk about cross-stitching and um, fun stuff like new starts and and that kind of business. But um, how often do you think you'll be joining me on floss tube? Because that has been like a huge request. Yeah. Um, how often? Yeah. Probably once a month, don't you think? Once a month? Is that the goal? I... Uh, it's my guess. Okay. I'm, you heard I'm it. game. You heard it here. And um, if if you want that signed um, copy of Jason's of Scornu, um, I think we can make that happen. <laughs> <laughs> we will see you next time, friends. <laughs> <laughs>